Hey guys, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and today we're gonna made in this DW Hobby Tiger Moth. So you saw our last video where we did the unboxing, so now today after it's built, thanks to our buddy Ken, we're gonna go to our favorite club, the AMA Sanction Field at Hilltop Flyers. Beautiful field, and we're gonna fly this guy, we're gonna maiden him, and we're gonna have some tips and tricks. And as a bonus, we are going to do a lot meter test. So oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Hmm? Calibre DSC, that was physical. easy. Yeah. Well, you're just the Maiden King, man. Yeah. All right, ready for the Maiden flight, Will? Yeah. All right, wait, hold on. All right, Will, what do I get one of these beautiful looking Tiger Moths from so, DW Hobby? You can purchase one of these Tiger Moths here at Grayson Hobby uh, in store in Atlanta, Georgia, or you can go to graysonhobby.com and order it from there. Nothing drop ships. Everything ships here locally from our warehouse right outside of Atlanta. And if you're in the area, come on by, pick one up, and check one of these out. Down, right, left. The other one. Elevator. And then right now in the video, I'm just going through pre-flight, making sure ailerons, elevator, rudder, all this right directions. Yes. Yeah. Pre-flight is important because if you don't pre-flight, your plane could probably crash. I'm checking CG, and I did recognize. I still felt it was tail heavy. Yes. Uh, tail heavy plane flies once, and a nose heavy plane flies poorly. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I prefer a little more nose heavy, especially in this kind of plane. I think it flies a little better with. Wait, wait, wait. We're taxiing. Yeah. So how's a yeah. taxi? Taxi was fine. All right. I mean, we have a beautiful runway here. Yes. So, I mean, it's one of those things. I don't know grass. I didn't try. I don't think I tried. I can't remember at this point. No, why, why, why um, fly on the grass when we have this nice taxi right <laughs> Yeah. But if you're on the concrete, something like that, you'll be fine. Um, short grass would probably be fine, too, because the wheels do have some clearance. All right. Maiden flight. Here it is. And took off nice. Yeah. And now I did have elevator trim off, so you can see it ballooning a little bit because I had a lot of up trim in the elevator. So, here I am fighting the trim down. Um, I'd also noticed a little incidence in the wing that needed to be adjusted, which I didn't do until after we were done flying for the day, which also kind of created a little extra lift in the plane, which kind of made it maximize the tail heaviness. Yeah. Um, so we record the maiden flight, and everyone knows maiden flights are nerve-wracking because a lot of things can go wrong, and a lot of things can go yeah, right. This More. is usually when Basil is telling me, oh, you just flew for 30 seconds. Try a stall. <laughs> try this. Try get, that. Get lower. And I'm still playing with the trim. Uh, yeah. Tabs. So it's not only it's a new airplane, it's not it's not set up, you know, with all yeah. the... Okay. So I got it flying here, just putzing around. Um, if I remember right, I did a lot of the flying, probably two-thirds throttle or so. Um, full throttle, it was quick, but it also would climb a little bit. Um, but again, I think that was because... There's a roll right there, so it does some ailerons and rolls. Oh, the ailerons were pretty responsive for what they were. Okay. Uh, throw a little rudder into the aileron, it's even better. But yeah, it... It did roll, it did loop, it did fly. Yeah. I mean, it looks it a little all stuff. Look, you need more expo, I think. Is that what you were saying? Uh, See how it kind of just jumps up? There? I might have actually had too much expo, and that's why I was like, no no control to okay. over control. I gotcha. Um, also, it was the first flight of the day for or the, at the this point. First flight ever this plane. Yeah. Right? So. so, well, it was also, I think it was the first. No, I flew a little micro A10 before this. So I did actually have a flight in, and that was twitchy too, because I oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't set that one up. Cool. Um, so there you go, flying nice and slow and low right there. Yeah, that's, this that's one was good. fine, but I I was um, very cautious on the slow because I did feel it was still tail heavy just because the the way it was going under throttle and when I slowed down it would kind of nose up a little bit. Um, so you can see, yeah, this flight you'll see more pitching to it, more nose pitching. The tail's kind of hanging a little bit on some of the parts, and that was because it was still tail heavy. Um, this is before we added any weights. Okay. <laughs> Child. Second flight. Second flight. This is where I shifted the battery as far forward as it went. Um, you added four quarters. Did I add the weight on this one? Yeah, I thought yeah. that was the third flight. Okay. So I ended up adding three quarters and a nickel because it's what I had in my coin okay. chart. Uh, cup holder. Um, but basically 25 grams or 22 grams or something like that, I think is what I ended up adding to the nose. I just taped it onto the battery and but put now it in there. Look at how smooth it flies. Yeah, down, and it so. made a very drastic improvement. However, I would actually add a hair more nose weight if I was to fly this again. Uh, the factory battery is a 1500 China Hobby Line that we used. No, or not well, factory, not factory battery, just our battery. The battery that we used um, in the flight. Um, 1800 would be a little long and be hard to get in and out. So that's I There's was a still, nice slow roll oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, see, that yeah, looks really go. nice right there. Um, so yeah, it definitely made a huge improvement with the CG being right. Crazy, right? Um, but basically, um, adding the weight to it helped. There's another roll. What do you do? Oh yeah, high rates. Yeah, yeah. It, I literally it, it, just said big time difference. So yeah. 
that was this is about half throttle just kind of puts it around so yeah it looks it's a good looking airplane that's for sure oh the color i see and there's a couple of heli guys there and they were like man this thing looks amazing in the air and they're not even really plane guys um but the the covering looked good and we had it overcast it, had the it, sun it, been out i think well, it would the sun so came out towards better. the end of the day but now here you come nice and slow look at that that's beautiful right there this is probably just over half throttle i think is where it was on that yeah, it looks really good. Nice nice yellow on the blue sky. That's awesome. Tiger Moth is a classic airplane. I mean, if you want to buy a plane kind of thing, you want something that's just enjoyable to look at in the air, Tiger Moth's way to go. And this one did, I mean, you saw in the video, it loops, it rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm about to leave, man. I'm Here you come again. ADD zoning out watching the video instead of talking on the video. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> there you go. Look at that. That's super nice. <laughs> Now, I want to say we got a pretty long flight in there. You'll have to listen. Yeah, to how, how long is the flight time of this guy? Uh, you I want to say I flew it eight minutes and I still had half a battery. Yeah. Um, but it's it depends on how you are on the throttle. Oh, the touch and go, touch and go. Oh, yeah, yes. look at that. Beautiful. So, one go. thing I was doing on this plane uh, was just shooting touch and goes, and it was very smooth. It is a narrow landing gear compared to some of the other planes out there, I guess you'd say, but it's not super narrow, so it still lands pretty good. Um, just on a crosswind day, just make sure you keep, you know, use the rudder, keep the wings level, um, and it'll help you from dragging a wing when you land. There you go, another one. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, barely, you barely came off the ground there before the runway ended. Yeah, one thing I like to do, I try to land on one wheel. Okay. I, I've always, that's something I just uh, enjoy. And I was, I think we, uh, we flew with a bobber later on after that, yeah. and he kept looking at me like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I was like, I'm trying to land it with one wheel. Just yeah, so that was company. a, yeah, they, that's an air show stunt or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Here comes another landing. You get one. There you go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. Good two landings. That was there. a little quick. That yeah. I, that was a little quick touch and go there. Another one. Different direction. This one you can hear me slow down a little bit. A little wing rocket there at the end there. Yeah, we did have a little breeze here and there that popped up. Um, it wasn't crazy wind or anything like that. I I don't think we hit more than six seven miles. Yeah, I would say it was calm to ten. That's the thing. Those gusts sometimes get you on. But on there was a couple gusts final. throughout the day. There is one point in the video I think I almost crashed it because I was not really paying. I like I looked at the radio and then I looked up and I was like, oh, that's not where I thought I was. But so um, a lot of the flying <laughs> he's doing, it's it's kind of I asked him to go low so I can get good video because it says camera likes to get out of focus quick. So it looks as you can see there. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of looks boring, but that's the kind of flow we have to do to get some good footage. And there's not oh look at that big loop or almost nope, that's just climbing. Okay. I don't know, it's hard to tell with a yeah, camera yeah, sweeping, I think so. it's over my head. But that, that's a gorgeous day. That this is a Yeah, this is day. where it started getting nice. Yeah. The sun popped out. You can see, yeah, with the, on the wing. There, oh, there's an inverted flight, it looks like. Yeah, now you're inverted. Yep, you are inverted right there. Oh, yeah, I did fly a little inverted. And I asked, I kept yelling, go lower, go lower, go lower. But I don't think... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to do it. He was... Especially on your second flight, and then we don't want to... Uh, no, this one, this one's pretty. I don't want to mess with yeah. that. It looks gorgeous on those brown trees back there. That yellow pops really nice. Yeah, it, I mean, it looks really good in the air. The yellow, I, I like yellow planes. Um, one of my favorite little sport planes is a yellow, black, and silver with a white trim. And I've just always liked the way the color scheme. So, naturally, I do grab it. Oh, here comes your final planes. landing, is it? I think you... Did I? Oh, that was it. Yeah, that was. The there you go. A couple of. Couldn't remember if I shot yeah, a touch and go or not. I thought one of my landed and then took back off. And there goes your nice taxi. In. So the taxi looks like it taxi really well. Yeah, um, I had a lot of rudder in there. If I would have probably used the, a. Uh, is there a servo for the? Is it servo connected to the rudder? It's directly on the tail. Yeah, yeah okay. It's the wheel element, nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. okay. I thought I did. Yeah, I just taxied around. Took back off. You know, that way I could make a horrible landing the next time. <laughs> We'll have to see. So, yeah, let's. See. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think the winds. It, the wind was going to crosswind, like we always have at that field. So I don't yeah. think it mattered which direction you came in, because either way, it'd be a crosswind. At this point, if I oh, remember right, my timer like was way past. It looked like you went full speed past there. All right. All right. Hello, now he's folks. coming in. Final Hello, landing or the, the final couple minutes of the first flight. It is a pretty plane. This looks really nice, yeah.
There's one of his old uh, one, <laughs> one wheel landing. Oh, now you're in the grass. Nope. All right, that's it. Good flying, Will. Good job. Good job. You made the flight. Yeah, I flew it. A battery box. You could probably build up around the battery tray to support the battery from left and right, just so it's not pushing on the cowl. I want to say actually on this one, I did glue two popsicle sticks to the side okay. of the firewall. Um, kept the battery. So that way, when you're trying to pull it out on the Velcro, you don't you know, the, smack the side yeah. of the cowl and crack it or something yeah. like that. Now the prop itself was a seven five slow flyer on here. Honestly, you could probably go a 738 wide slow flyer, get oh. a lot more thrust, and cut down the top speed. It doesn't really need the speed for this kind of plane. So even so, if you have like a watt meter, huh, crazy. Okay, so we got our battery going in there. Yeah, we got a new little device here. Ooh, it's fancy. That's our toolkit watt meter. Okay. I'm going to hold this back here. Okay, Will's going to plug them up there. Prop is clear of all crap on the bench. And we'll try to get that right there. All right, so here we are. We got a fresh battery. Two cells. Yeah. No wonder why we got a ridiculous flight time. <laughs> so what's that mean? We're only at 13 amps on a 20 amp speed controller. Can we go through? That's good. That means buffer. Uh. Too much. The motor and stuff like that can handle, right? I don't think the motor will handle it, not but, with this prop. But then you can go to a different prop though, right? Pro possibly, but I don't recommend it. I would stick with 2-cell on this particular motor. Right. If you guys want to experiment and you find out it does work, let us know. Let us know what you think about the video overview, because that's kind of the first time trying that. I know I probably spaced out halfway watching that video, but um, yeah. uh, if you liked it, let us know. If you didn't like us, let, didn't like it, let us know. If you didn't why. like it, too yeah. bad! <laughs> yeah, just give a thumbs up anyway, right? <laughs>